Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're checking out the F5, the F2, and some talons from GameSir. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, GameSir sent me these talons, the F5 and the F2, just to take a look at. They didn't even ask for a review, but I'm going to review them anyway. We'll start out by taking a look at the talons. Now, the talons, to me, at a very high level, are little socks that go over your fingers. They say smooth touchscreen operation, durable capacitive materials, breathable and sweatproof design, and a sleeve that fits all finger sizes. The whole purpose of these is to try to give yourself a little bit more of an edge when you're using touchscreen controls on your phone by providing a consistent touch. Now it just so happens that my thumb has a chunk taken out of it from doing some housework, so these things might come in handy here. GameSir says these are one size fits all and I do have fairly long fingers and I can confirm that this does fit on my thumb. I will say with excessive and exaggerated movements, it does slide down my thumb a little bit, but it doesn't fall off. Overall, I find these very weird, but not uncomfortable. While playing mobile games with them, I didn't notice any issues whatsoever. They worked absolutely fine. Admittedly, they did take a little bit of time to get used to. It's a lot different than just playing with your thumbs, but overall, not too bad. Next up, we have the F2 Fire Stick. Now, I think the Fire Stick does come with a mobile grip, but unfortunately, I don't have it. So I'm just going to take a look at these two clips on buttons. The clip-on buttons come in this nice little plastic container. The buttons here are mostly plastic with a clip designed to grip your phone. The clip does have a little bit of rubber on it to help secure it and the trigger portion is metal which is a nice touch. I also like the little bullet. Installation on this is simple. You open up the clip, put it on your phone and close the clip. Included in the package is one for the left and right side of the phone. They do slide around just a little bit I noticed when you put a lot of force on them but I guess it would depend on the type of phone that you have. If you have a glass-backed phone, I think this would grip fairly well. And for those of you wondering, yes, they fit on tablets too, but it's a little bit awkward to use. The way the F2 works is fairly simple. It just replicates touching your screen. So setting it up, you just have to make sure your controls are underneath where the little rubber pad for the F2 hits and you should be good to go. You don't have to use both at the same time. You can have one mounted for the trigger and that's it, or you can have both mounted. It's completely up to you. Now, I found the easiest way to do things was to use the one on the left side for aim and the one on the right side for trigger and I found this worked fairly well. Now taking a look at the F5 Falcon Mini and this one is a little bit different. This one is battery powered. It's a one piece unit that can be used on the left or the right hand side of your phone. It says ultra low power consumption, customizable burst modes, and dual different burst modes. Inside the box is a micro USB cable for charging. I was hoping to see USB-C here. On the back of the F5, you can see the micro USB port and the two shoulder buttons here are metal and do have micro switches. The F5 also has a clip-on design. It's a little bit different than the F2, but it functions largely the same. If your phone is small enough or if your fingers are long enough, you can mount this in the center and use both the left and right hand sides. But ideally, it does function best on one side of your phone whatever side you find most comfortable. Interestingly enough, it did fit on my Google Pixel 5 while using a case. I didn't have to remove the case at all from my phone. I didn't notice much of a delay at all when I was using this and it didn't slide around on my phone. My favorite feature about the F5 is that you can change firing modes based on the press of a button. You can go from single shot to automatic and you can even configure your own firing pattern if you want to do that. This is incredibly handy with making a non-automatic gun automatic. So now let's go over what I liked, what I didn't like, and my final verdict on all three of these items. And we'll start out with the GameSir talents. What I liked about them is that they worked and they worked very well. They're reasonably comfortable. I didn't notice them all that much after a while. It did take a bit to get used to them, but once I got used to them, it was fairly normal. On top of that, I do think they're true when they say one size fits all. I do have fairly long fingers and they fit me A-OK. -okay. They do pull down a little bit, but they don't fall off my thumb and they don't really feel uncomfortable. In terms of what I don't like, $9.99 for these does seem a little bit on the pricey side. But at the same time, I guess if you do have issues with touchscreen controls and it may be not reading your thumbs all the time, then these might be right up your alley. Next up, we have the F2. Now mine didn't come with a phone holder, so I can't talk about that. I can just talk about these two buttons. Now with my experience, these two buttons worked reasonably well. I have a Google Pixel 5 and they clipped on the phone without issue. They even clipped on the phone when I had a phone case on it, but your mileage may vary there based on the thickness of your case. You may have to remove the case in order to clip these on your phone. 
In terms of functionality, they worked reasonably well. As long as I positioned the button underneath where they connected to the phone, it worked. In terms of quality, it's nice to see that the actual triggers were metal. Most of the frame is plastic and the clip is plastic. But at $10 here, I don't think you can really argue too much at all. I think it's worth it if you're looking for something like this. Now moving on to the F5. From a functional perspective, I was very impressed with this. I like the fact that these are micro switches and I like the fact that you can easily switch between modes, between single and automatic and whatever custom firing pattern you want. You just hold this down for like three seconds. You put in your own little custom firing pattern and then press the button again. Every time you press it, your custom firing pattern is activated. Overall, to me, this is built reasonably well, except for the clip. I'm not the biggest fan of the clip on this one. I think it might break fairly easily, uh, but the price of this is 10 bucks. So I think at 10 bucks here, I mean, this one is really hard to beat. I think this is your best value right here. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Huge shout out to GameSir for providing these, not even for a fair and honest review. They just provided them to take a look at and I gave them a fair and honest review. Let me know your thoughts on the F2, the F5, and the Talons in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.